Her name is Leaf. <laughs> Ocean and Leaf. Are you fucking kidding me? Tally ho, my name is Keeping Shushin and welcome back to some more Pokemon Academy Live. In the last episode, I can't actually remember what happened because it's been a couple of weeks since I played this due to moving house. I will quickly say, if you've not seen my latest Kingfish Friday, you should probably go and check that out before this video. It explains a lot of things about why everything looks different, why there's no green screen anymore. To cut things short though, I've moved house, I can't use the green screen because I've not got enough room anymore and it's not exactly my place because I'm living with family right now. But anyway, let's get straight back into some Pokemon Academy out of my life. So we just had some sort of meeting, uh, a new student kind of welcome from what I remember, I'm not too sure, and there was a phone call with K K K Callum, whatever I called him, and Serena, but I accidentally pressed A a second ago, so now we're on the next sentence. But anyway, oh man, I think Serena and Callum are both pretty cool, but if the two of them are gonna be butting heads like this, I'd rather not be caught in between. I'll leave this issue to the future Ocean. Present Ocean is ready to call it a day. Yep. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs> no. Just kidding. I'm not ready to call it a day. I'm ready to call it a video. That doesn't make sense. As promised, our belongings were delivered to our room safe and sound while we were away. We've got jewel desks. Cool. We could have, like, jewel streams. I don't know why I said drool. Drool streams. Blah. Jewel streams. Jewel video recording. Oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to love it here. It shouldn't take too long to unpack everything, but I can take my time with that this weekend. All I need to do is get the necessities set up for now. The room was much more spacious than I expected. I wasn't a huge fan of the hardwood floor, but other than that, I really can't complain. Each person has his own bed, desk, cabinet, the standard, but there's just so much space and legroom in between. Hell, if you divide the room in half, it's probably the same size as my room back in Pallet, if not bigger. Spoilt brah. I spent way too much time looking around the room that I barely got past opening my suitcases. Yep, that happens. This, that, that's why all this stuff's behind me, because I've still not saw it at all. <laughs> yeah. Let's begin, shall we? I don't remember the voices I did. Which two electives will you choose? Uh, there are 18 known Pokemon types. I have to decide carefully which two types should be my electives for this year. Well, that's pretty fucking easy. First of all, I'm going to choose water. Should I go with water as an elective? Yes, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> One more to go. Hmm. What else sh should we select? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking electric, just because that's like the opposite to water in a sense, but I don't know. Maybe dra- no. I don't know, I can't- I never actually knew there was a bug logo, but I can't actually decide. Um, I should probably go with fire, just because it's- nah, I'm gonna go electric. Should I go with electric as an elective? Yep. Water and electric is your type electives. Yes! Okay, okay. Oh, you pick water and electric. I pick fighting and flying types. Too bad it won't be the same elective classes. Well, that blows. Ah, oh, well, it happens. There's still a chance we might be in the same homeroom class, so we'll see. Just a few days left before classes begin. We should rest up and take the weekend to fully set in. settle in. He's right. It all starts after this weekend. Yes! I can't wait to start learning some Pokemon stuff. Despite the heavy force of exhaustion bearing down on me, I continued to sort through my belongings and finished unpacking everything. The full onset of night was here and going to sleep would be common sense. However, Actually being able to fall asleep is a different story. To say I wasn't excited would be a blatant lie. I'm hundreds of miles away from home, and now I'm here at this academy with countless new people to meet. Just a few more days. I can't wait. Also, I do apologize for keep changing the webcam system. I was going to have the same setup as last episode, because I came up with that for, while I was editing it. But then, freaking this happened, so... Whoa! There's animations in this game. Best game ever, 25 out of 10. Why is it lagging? A Pokemon fan game. Oh, it's like an introduction. Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> Pokemon can be life. Fade away. This guy, that girl, that girl, that guy, that other guy, that other guy with that girl. And my game's lagging. That girl and that guy and this guy and that girl. And that guy's in a uniform now and so she and that girl, guy and that girl and that guy. I don't know who he is and that girl. And those two people. Why is my game lagging? Stop it. And all those things. And all those people. Right, seriously, what's going on? Why is this lagging? 
Okay, I guess we're skipping ahead then. I hate my computer sometimes, I really do. I do apologise for that, but literally, like, you don't know how difficult it is to try and record good footage while, when your computer sucks absolute wang and you don't have the money to afford, like, better equipment. It is, like, the worst because I want to provide, like, the best quality that I can give to you guys, the best video, like, face cam quality, the best footage, the best audio, but I just can't, and that really, really hurts, and it's so god I'm annoying. Anyway, enough emotional shit, let's get on with this. Over the weekend, I've spent most of my time setting up the room and getting used to the campus. Relic Hall is surprisingly big, it's got this huge auditorium, the student lounge, a library, I still get lost sometimes, even with a map, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its doors, but it's recently been available for students. I'm glad to see who will be in my classes. That's some chill I felt from when I first got here snuck up on me again. I'm getting goosebumps, but let's do this. You look dapper, even though your jacket kind of looks like it's a bit too small, maybe because it's kind of just like this. It's kind of weird. Ready to get some big, ready to get some breakfast before the big day. <laughs> We're heading the main cafeteria. You got it. I'm ready, let's go. I don't care if this update is available, why does everything have to pop up when I'm trying to play games? God damn. The main cafeteria is absolutely massive. Well, the student center as a whole is a massive building, second only to the academy's main building itself, which all the students just refer to as, refer to as the academy. The academy. <laughs> Here in this cafe, hundreds of students can be seated simultaneously, and most importantly, comfortably. At first I thought space would be an issue, but I was surprised to find out the opposite is true. Morning hours tend to be the most hectic as students from all different grades file in, but operations run smoothly, nonetheless. Uh. Okay, <laughs> why not? It certainly makes things easier when various Pokemon help with service while the academy staff handles the cooking and talking. That's cool. Then again, this isn't the only place that serves food on campus. Many students opt for the smaller cafes and lounges located in other buildings, such as student faculties or residential halls. We're just here because it's close to our classes. Smart thinking. Oh, look who's joining us this morning. Hey! Ooh, who's she, who's she? Morning, Serena. Morning, Shana. You can't just introduce her and be like, you already know her. Because we don't. You, you didn't introduce properly. Says, you suck. I'm quitting. That's it. I'm, I'm done. Good morning, Ocean and Callum. Hey, guys! Whoa there, what's going on, Sean? Nothing! I'm just super excited about today! It's sunny, we're all here at the same time. All the co cute Pokemon here, I'm... I'm too excited to even eat! I just want to go find out who my new classmates are. You feel the same way, right, Ocean? I feel like I got a butter freeze in my stomach. I'm excited, yeah, but it's a little scary at the same time. That face, she looks so disappointed and upset. She's like, did you really just say that? Oh, don't be scared. Everything's gonna go great. Right. Uh, well, today must be a day of positivity. I agree. But anyway, you have to eat something, Shauna. It'd be a miracle you can hold up like this throughout the entire day. <sighs> this is no problem on a day like today. But you're right, I'm starving. Over the weekend, I ran into Serena again while wandering ar around the dorms. That's the way I got introduced to Shauna, Serena's roommate. She's so small. She's cute. She's just adorable. I just want to pinch her cheeks and go be 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 like that. Oh, hello, Ocean. What are you doing all by yourself? Just getting myself acquainted with the school, you know. What are you up to now? I was just coming back from lunch. Did you try the chatter they serve at the lo lounge? What? <laughs> I am not with it today. I am very rusty. I'm not recording in like two weeks, so give me a break, okay? Give me a break. It's exquisite to think a school would have food like Serena. Oh, I like a top. That's cute. Sh uh, Shahada, you're you're back early. D did you find anything interesting? No, not really. But I have. But I did have a lot of fun playing with the Pokemon at the student center. There's Pokemon at the student center. I'm off. I'm <laughs> I'm out. Who's this? Why are you so tall? And you're so small. What year are you in? Serena and I are both first years. We're from Vanderbilt Town in the Gallows region. What about you? Oh, do you live on this floor too? Oh, did you meet Callum Tierno with Trevor? They're first years like us and they also live on this floor. It's so nice to be my friends. <sighs> uh, please. The one question at the... Uh... I can't wait for classes to start on the Dragon of Fairy. It's classes that isn't that cool and cute. So that's ready to choose fire and dark touch. But that's okay because we still see each other all the time. I... <laughs> Well, let's say you take these heroes. Speaking of Pokemon, what's your favorite? My favorite is Skinny. No way, either. Maybe something like Stubble. Ah, this is something you can Pokemon. I got his other one. 
I think Ocean is uh, trying to tell you something, Shana. Oops. Hi, Ocean. Uh, hi, Shana. I'm actually Calum's roommate, so we're not too far down from here. Get out. <laughs> That's amazing. We we'll see each other every day. Sh uh, Shana, I think I mentioned to you who Calum's, Calum's classmate was. Roommate, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> I think you did too, but I didn't know this guy's ocean. Well, now you know. I know he's half the battle. Joe. Nice to meet you, Ocean. Yay. I did not ever want to speak as her again, because my god, it was my fault. <laughs> Sean's just a big, huge ball of energy packed into a small frame. Her hair's incredibly weird, by the way, I have to say. Like, how the freaking hell did she pull that off? Is that, like, pigtails to the side and, like, pigtails just, like, hanging from her head? I, I, from the back of her head around the front? I don't even know. She looks like a Pokemon anyway, it's kind of cute. As for Serena, it seems like she and Callum are getting along. Other than that, what Callum told me during orientation, I haven't brought anything up since. Serena hasn't mentioned anything related to the student council ever since I ran into her in Ch Charon. Ch Charon? Charon, whatever. It's not my business anymore. I'll just have to wait and see what happens from here on out. It's a little early to start daydreaming, Ocean. Hey! Let's get one thing clear. I daydream every second of the day, okay? Every minute. If I get a chance to daydream, you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna. Let's get moving. This way! I already like being her, but it's gonna hurt my throat so bad. After you, Serena. Oh my, looks like Shiver isn't dead after all. No! Because I'm with the other girl. I'm, I'm gonna be with the other girl. I forgot her name. I don't remember her name, but she's the one for me, okay? She got brown hair, and I prefer. Girls will burn her anyway. True story, true fact. It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious. The unintelligible but fervent clamoring, mostly from shooting stuffing their mouths full and dashing out of the cafeteria before they can finish chewing, all contributed to the infectious hype. Back home, or rather any school from any region, I doubt it's possible to find so many students as excited about their first day as the students here. I'll admit I became a victim of this atmosphere. I ate quickly like a madman, shoving my last piece of toast into my mouth like many of the students before me and got up from my seat. Woo! It's the start screen. We're outside. We're staring at the floor. Wow, this area of the campus is amazing. That door's awesome. Is that unknown? That is so cool! Ow, my nose. I look up and I see the symbols embossed on the facade. Cob Cob Cobucan Academy. Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe. The condition of this place really makes it seem like it was built yesterday. I'm having a difficult time imagining that this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just excited to be here. Yeah, indeed I am. First thing on the agenda is to check the, co the homeroom assignments. Right, guys? Who am I with? Uh, guys? I was so deep in thought that I didn't realize I was alone. Maybe I walked too fast, or are they ahead of me already? Probably ahead. Regardless, I need to get back inside and check the homeroom assignment. Let's do this. Let's roll. Let's run. Let's go travel the world. Let's go be the best. Let's go be a Pokemon master. 1A, 1B. Weird, I still don't see the others. There's a cluster of students gathered by a bulletin board. That must be the homeroom list. Hmm. Birch, Orc, and Sycamore. Ah, oh, professors are teachers? Oh, that's so cool. I want Orc. Oh, Birch. No, Sycamore. No. I want them all. Who's the fourth one, then? Because there's, like, one that's kind of blurred out. Unless, uh, I don't know. Hmm, I quickly scan for Professor Oak's list, and I immediately put my name at the bottom. Yes, I'm in Professor Oak's. I am the best. Awesome sauce. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's also in a different font, but like I was a last-minute addition to Oak's class. Let's see who else is in my class. Gary. Ass face. Well, well, well. <sighs> yep. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. At least look at me when you're talking to me. No. Never. I, I can't I can't see what you say. God damn it. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa's, according to this. How do you miss my name? Ah, oh, crap. I just set ass face up. He's gonna say something really condescending like my name isn't even worth a glance. Or maybe not. Gramps? Are you serious? 
I guess it'd be kind of surprising for both of us to get in the same class, considering the huge number of students in our year. I wonder if Professor Rogue set this up himself. I was not going to be playing any favorites this year. I don't know why I said favorites, but bleh. I, I thought I told him to- You jerk! Ah, who cares. Now we have a front row seat to watch you bomb in class. I'm gonna bomb your face with my fist in a minute, sunshine. Oh, you're all with Professor Oak? That voice. Yes! I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but I just- um, Great flaming Moltres, it's that girl! I sure wish I knew her name so I could offer more than just a feeble hand wave. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we're done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this windbag. Hey, don't you call my future wife a windbag, okay? Okay, sunshine. I, I won't just Pokemon battle you. I'll get Charizard to set your butt on fire. Even though I've not got fire as an elective. But I will find a way. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt a girl and she's talking to her friend. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... Yeah, sounds about right. Girls never tend to know my name. <laughs> Triple dot. That's it. She got it right. See, we're just we're just meant to be. What can I say? She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close that I can smell a sweet fragrance coming off her. Psst. What's your name again? Uh, way too close for comfort. Not really. Just, just what would be really funny though is if he just went, yeah, that side of a cheek. I totally would do that because I'm a freak of nature. <laughs> uh, it's ocean. And, um, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in personal space. No, hug me! Bring it in! Bring it in! I'm just gonna cuddle you for the rest of my life. Ah, yeah, oh shit, we're, we're besties. Always been. You know it! You're not fooling anybody. Y yeah, we're best friends, uh... It's Leaf. Her name is Leaf. <laughs> Ocean and Leaf. Are you fucking kidding me? That is just like the best thing ever. Thanks, but please... Love me, hug me, marry me, what? Personal space. My god, you better cut the crap. Your acting is so bad that it's pissing me off. Fine, go watch another YouTuber if you don't like it. Go on, go on. Go watch Markiplier or Jack Sky or just someone. Go watch Brotacula. I hear he's all the rage these days. Give it a rest, Blue, I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on our first day here and she helped me out of a tough spot. We were both short on time. Ha! <laughs> because we're both short, kind of. So we forgot to introduce ourselves. Like I give a ratatas ass what happened. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Ugh, you two have wasted enough of my time already. I've got places to go and things to do. Yeah, like kiss ass and suck all the wang. Smell ya. Smell ya? What does that even mean? I don't know, but I'd like to smell you. Wing, it's blue. He's ugh, said that for as long as I've known him. And I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud about it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. I'd smell you for a long time. Wink. No, that's not how it- Oh, god damn. <laughs> Let's go, Ocean. We'll be late for our first class. Okay. Leaf, huh? An ass face and me in the same room for the next two hours. Every day for the next year. I'm fine with the leaf part. Just get ass face out of there. Or my ass will be in his face. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Boy, I'm a childish person. You should know this by now, and if you don't, then there you go. You know something about me now. Trouble that. This is gonna be quite the semester. Yup. Right, I'm actually gonna leave it here this time, because I want to keep this one as a, a little bit of a short episode, because I've got a lot of other stuff that I need to do today after this. But anyway, I really enjoy this game. I really, really love playing this game, like... I just, I don't know, there's just something about it, even though it's literally just a text-based game and I'm just reading stuff. It's just really engaging for me for some reason. It's, it's just something that I've come to really enjoy over the past couple of episodes that I've played. So I'm definitely going to be seeing this through to the end, or as far as the end can get. I don't know if there is an ending, but I'm going to be trying to play the entire game if I can. Because I really, really like this so far. And I'm really hopeful that there's like a romantic relationship system so me and Leaf can get together because that's just going to be so cute. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget us. Forgot my own outro there. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget us. Slap that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pip, pip, to the left. Kingfish Fridays. Kingfish Fridays. Yeah. Tally ho, my name is Kingfish Ocean and welcome back to Kingfish Fridays. Now I really wanted to do an update video this week concerning the fact that if you hadn't realised or if you hadn't really noticed, everything behind me is different. And this is because 